All right, guys, I'm going to start the video by getting right to the point because I know a lot of people hate when you don't. So this is it. You just simply go to this website and upload your files. But stay tuned because I'm going to explain all of it in great detail. And there'll be links all, all in the description here. So yeah, somebody made this handy dandy website. If this isn't available at the time you see this video, there's other websites probably. People are making upload websites. You can look it up. So you just simply find your files here. Select the zip file. The zip file has to also contain the text file with your email in it. So bonfire.zip. I'm going to upload my own map as a demonstration here. The text file. For me, it's bonfire.txt. These names have to match. All right, there's an optional message you can put to the archive maintainers, like if you have some kind of special thing to say, I, I don't really need to, but you can just say, there you go, tell them they're having a good day, and thanks if you want, you know, be polite. I'm not a robot. Yeah, that's important to specify. And then you click the upload files, and boom. Now you're not gonna see them on the archive yet, but it takes them a little bit. There's only two guys running it, and it's just like on their own time, so give them the time they need to do it. As long as you sent them a valid email and it matches, they'll message you back to confirm, and you just tell them, I uploaded bonfire.watt or whatever you did. You can expedite the process by emailing them directly. You can email them here and use this title and say, hey, I'm uploading the file. It'll make it a little bit faster. It'll skip the them waiting for you to reply and you replying to them. I'll explain that more later. But yeah, just keep in mind there's a few rules. The obvious ones are on the front page here. You can't have it be over 50 megabytes. If it is, you have to find a way to cut it. Don't use MP3 music and stuff like that, you know? Message them directly if it is too fat and they'll actually work with you on figuring it out. File name can't be more than 12 characters. That's important too. Has to be zip, not any other type of thing. It has to be zipped and it has to use a special text template which I'll, I'll, I'll make a text file in front of you guys as well. More rules over here. If you click on this you can scroll through a whole bunch of rules. Might want to give it a quick read. I mean some important stuff in here. Don't make any troll files. You know they'll get deleted. Don't terry wads or anything like that. You should really test your maps. Make sure they work good before submitting them here because I run a series you can find on my playlist on my YouTube channel where I play random id games and so many of them are like there's quite a few that just don't work. The maps end up half broken or something. So please, please test it. Have your friends test it. Post it on Doom World. This is a biggie. Don't upload anything that's based on modified versions of the original levels. So yeah, don't copy maps from the original Doom 2. Don't copy anything from the original Doom 2. All right, here's the file I sent to id Games. We have my actual map, the music I chose, my own custom sky. Basically anything from the Doom 2 master wad here, Doom2.wad. Anything over here should not appear over here. So if you copy the arch file sprites or textures or anything, it's going to get rejected. It's going to be considered unmodified id software. So make sure there's nothing in the doom2.wad in your own wad that you're submitting and you'll be good. Just your own map and that's it. You know, your own stuff. Don't copy anything. Yeah, you get it. All right. Now, sometimes this can take a while because, again, there's just two guys working on it. So you can keep checking the incoming directory to see that you did upload it. Uh-oh, where is it? I had to refresh to see it. So, yeah, it's, it, it's confirmed in the um, incoming directory. So they haven't looked at it yet. And then they have the option to reject things if you don't follow any of the rules. All the links below. So why don't we work on that text file next? I'll show you guys how to make a text file. All right, guys, let's talk about making that text file. So on the main id games page here, you have all these fun options. This is where I do the random id games, but there's also a nice handy dandy text generator for you. Check it out. Yeah, it's imperative that you use this template in some fashion because if you try to make your own, hey, this is my map, uh, it's going to get rejected, right? Now, this may look a little overwhelming, especially if you're a first timer, but you can just submit a blank form. And it'll actually highlight things you actually need to fill in. You don't need to fill in every single thing. But I'm going to talk through these real fast, explain what they are. There's a message to the archiver. You don't really have to use this unless you just want to send a nice friendly message like, Hey guy, hope you're having a great day. And there's the update too. So is it an update to an old file? Are you re-uploading something or is it a new file? So I always just put new map. You got to explain what source port your maps need. If it's GZ Doom or if it can run on chocolate or whatever. This one will be anything limit removing. I have, I upload so many things that I have it pre-selected there. Single play, yeah, it has co-op starts in it, but it's really for single play. This map is called Bonfire Party Times. Make sure you get the right file name, bonfire.wad in my case. When did this come out? October 3rd, all right. And the author is me. 
Now you have to put a real email address in here because they are going to email you to verify the file and if the email doesn't match and it's not valid, you won't, you won't get in the archive, guys. There's another file by author section. You can fill that out if you want. I'll actually leave a link to my wiki since I have one for some reason. It has all my nice map names in it. Alright, you can talk about yourself if you want and then you can describe your map, talk about you know what your map is. So this is a little four hour map I made, so I'll just type in, there we go, additional credits. So yeah, if anybody helped you with stuff or use people's music, in my case I used some Jimmy tunes, so I'll just copy that from my thread. You should definitely credit your music and stuff, and whatever else. Everyone on Doom World for the help, for testing and stuff. Alright, you have to indicate if it's a new map or, or what it is, so I always just put, in this case it's, um, it's just one new one new map, you know. All right, we did add some custom music to it, and I don't know if you consider my title pick graphics. That might be cheating, but oh well. Okay, it's Doom Two. If it's Doom One or something else, you gotta you know map number in this case one. It's designed for single player, but it does have player starts for the other things. If you're trying to add player starts, just think about scenarios where a player could get locked into a room and die. So you have to, like, have a way in on the opposite side for other players if they resurrect and stuff. Alright, it does have difficulty settings, very important things to do. All I do is usually just call the monsters from, like, I, I build it on ultraviolence, and then I take out monsters on medium and easy. New from scratch, yeah. It's a brand new from scratch thing. Build time, the whole thing for me was four hours. If you don't know, just put a rough guesstimate. Mark down what you used. I used Ultimate Doom Builder for this one. I used to use regular Doom Builder. If there's any bugs about your map that you know about, it's it's nice to share them, but in my case, none that I know of. And then what it may not run with. So in my case, anything not limit removing. Tested with, you can list all the things you tested it with. There you go. This part. So do you want people to share your work? You know, I'll put yes as long as they, you know, share a like. Commercial use of your work, I don't want that. Websites this file is available from, well, I shared it on Doom World first, so I can put that here. And we'll skip this FTP crap, alright. So now you're ready to press Submit Inquiry. And you got, you got this. Now you can just select all, Control A, and then copy, Control C. Go to your desktop and make a new text document. And name it the exact same name as your WAD, Bonfire. Alright, and then just paste it in. Bam, you got her. You got your text file. Now you want to keep a text file independently separate here, so... I like to highlight them both and right-click on the WAD and click on Send to Compress Zip Folder. Now we have our zip file. You can um, open it and see that, yes, you do got the both things in there. Um, you do need to have your email in here as well. Now they're going to redact it for you, but if you don't have your email in there, it won't. You won't. You won't get accepted. All right. Now I'm going to show you a trick that will prevent you waiting so long for your file to appear. Instead of waiting for the verification email and then you bounce it back and it makes everything take longer, you can email them directly, and it's all right here. The information. So just copy this. We're going to send it to this email, and we have to use this subject line or else they'll probably miss it because they're so busy. And you need to say something simple like, hey guys, I uploaded bonfire.wad, or whatever wad you had. Thanks. Just like that, simple. And then send it to them. Alright, so that'll skip you having to wait for that, and they'll just receive it faster, so... So I've done it, I've made my text file, I've sent my files, I've tested my map thoroughly, I've followed all the rules. Uh, now I'm gonna wait and come back, check back once a day if you want, or now and again, and see what's going on if I got rejected for some reason. But this is the part where you have to wait, and sometimes it can take a week, two weeks, it can, you know? Give them some time. Just give them some time, let's see how long it takes. Okay, I want to make it extremely clear that this is not the expected turnaround time. And it only happened because I sent them a heads up email. Otherwise, today, the only thing I would have received would have been like an email saying, Are you sure you sent this? 
and then it would have had to wait longer. But there's only two guys working on it, and they have a lot of stuff to sift through and investigate, so be patient and don't expect this to happen. It can take a few weeks, but here we go. We made it on here. Bonfire party times. There it is. And they redacted the email, so you don't have to worry about that. We're ready to go, you guys. Check it out. Exciting times. Let's have a moment of silence for those who didn't make it. <laughs> This guy didn't make it because he uploaded a newer version. He uploaded another newer version. So try not to send them too many versions. Try to like really give them a finalized product. Make sure it's out of the oven. Like you wouldn't cook a pizza pocket and take it out early and get ice crystals in your face. You wanna really send something ready because neither side wants to keep updating files when there's just a change that you know should be finalized before you send it. So this one tried to duplicate it. Can't send the same thing twice. It's on there, it's on there. You, you did it. Stop duplicating it. This person got rejected because they didn't use the text maker, so that's why it's important to do that. This guy used copyright, didn't fill this section out right. This one got kicked off because it contains unmodified ID software, so again, don't take something directly from the Doom 2 wads and stuff. This one didn't put an email address in there, so yeah. That's why I made this video, to hope people help people do it right, but again, Send completely finished, actual, real maps. Don't send jokey spam maps because they do comb through everything with a microscope. And if you're sending intentional trash or stuff that isn't right, then you're going to end up in this pile right over here. So, yeah, I hope this video was helpful. If I even helped one person, then that's great. So, you know, and if I missed anything in this video, feel free to discuss things in the comments. And, uh, yeah, happy mapping. And let's keep this community alive because it's, it's a great time. Good, good times, everybody. We did it, you guys. We're on id games. We made it to id games. Let's go to the party. Bonfires, id games. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. I had fun making this little tutorial, and again, I hope you found it helpful. All right. Have a good one.